most of us are living a scripted life and we have no control over it. It is a set of actions that society compels you to take. If you want to get a best job, you need good grades, everything around us is shaping our thought process to think in and work in a scripted way. The education system doesn't focus on developing problem-solving skills, they train us to be a good employee and you unwillingly become a model citizens. Mediocre, obedient, dependent, entertained, lifeless citizens. Go to university, get a job, work for 50 years to make someone else rich, retire poor, leave healthy life for more 10 years and die. The big question is how can we escape this scripted life and leave a free life? And what's holding you back? The consumption scam. The consumption scam is why people must go to work and why many have no choices. Until they began to produce first and consume second, they won't be free. A recent survey by Go Banking Rates found that 14 million Americans have over $10,000 of credit card debt to pay off. We need to understand that debt is equal to production minus consumption. People that get into debt simply consume more than they produce. It isn't money owed, it's a production deficit. Debt mandates the necessity of future work, even if you cannot find work. As kids, we receive things without having to work for them. This is where the origin of this idea can be found. Had we lived in the real world we would have understood that nothing is free. Every acquirement of any type of good required work. It's the belief that consumption has nothing to do with production. However, you will earn money if you are producing something valuable. You will need to shift your mind from consumption to production, this mindset shift is powerful. It is going from looking at what you can take, to looking at what you can give. The more production value you thrust into society, the bigger your house, the faster your car. The money scam. The money scam consists of going after money instead of going after value. They are called money chasers. Money chasers jump from one business idea to another, one job to another, one opportunity to another. They view money tangibly like a sofa or a car. Money is a means of exchange where agreed perceived value is stored. However, perceived value and actual value, also called extrinsic value and intrinsic value, don't always match. If you're fired from a job which pays $50,000 per year, your employer has decided that your actual value is not matching the perceived value that is your salary. While most world transactions amount to a fair exchange where perceived and actual value closely match, sometimes they do not. To go further, your net worth is equal to how much value you have created for others. So how do you attract money? Erase money from your vocabulary. Vow to never utter the word again. As a producer, start thinking of money as value vouchers, a store of perceived value produced, communicated and delivered to the world. If your goal is $10 million, the new goal is 10 million value vouchers and acquiring those 10 million value vouchers requires facing money's true nature. Be valuable. Wanted. Demanded. The poverty scam is the zero-sum belief that you are broke because someone else is rich. Sorry, you're poor because you keep buying shit you shouldn't buy, including fantasies that don't exist. Money doesn't escape your wallet because there's a gun to your head, you buy because you perceive value, enough of it that it compels you to say, yes, here's my cash, give me what you have. That truth is this, everything great in society has happened because money moved massively due to massive value creation and delivery, and yes, this created rich people. Without wealth, you be transported back to the dark ages, where you burn candles for light and use pigeons to send letters. Every single thing in your life was once invented and created by someone or by someone executing on a corporate initiative. Yes, every comfort, convenience and functionality you now enjoy was once someone's idea. Someone's work, dream or passion and now you benefit from that output. It's simple, follow the law of affection, impact millions to make millions. Scale means selling $10 worth product to 100,000 people. Magnitude means selling $100,000 worth product to only 10 people. The belief that obsessive expense reduction, penny pinching, and experiential deprivation will someday pay off in the opposite, rich life experiences, freedom, and abundance. These techniques don't work because they are merely about defense, about spending less. The frugality scams problem is not frugality itself. The problem is, it is defensive, focused on expenses or outflows, and to have outflows, one must first have inflows. LNW is equal to total income earned minus total expenditures. If LNW is positive, congratulations, you've been a saver or a net producer. Negative. Sorry, you've been naughty at the mall or not very productive. 
The problem with a defensive strategy is expenditures are subtracted from net earned income. If you don't have a sizable income, it doesn't matter how cheap you are, you can't squeeze a dime from a nickel. Get rich quick is possible. Get rich easy isn't. In between quick and easy, most people will choose easy as a result, they are not rich. Those that got rich quick have two critical characteristics in common. A strong defense underscored by controllable unlimited leverage. This means your income has a high ceiling or no ceiling at all a detachment of intrinsic value in lieu of a business system. This is the idea that as long as your income is attached to time, even if you're making $1,000 per hour, you will never be rich. You need to disintegrate this value and find a way to make money when you're sleeping. After college, many people stop learning. In fact, your actual learning starts after college, you must learn how to use the knowledge you have, you must acquire new skills to upgrade yourself, the information on the internet is abundant. You need to figure out the problem first and start learning about its solution. Concentrate on the information that can help you right now, and you can gradually increase your knowledge in other areas as well. Become a producer, not a consumer. Bring value to the society, money will flow automatically.